In parts A and B of this section, I told you about four set operations, and it is possible to combine these operations in various ways, but you, you may remember from math that the uh, order of operations is uh, important. We need to uh, pay attention to the order in which operations are performed. And that will be the same uh, when we're looking at set operations. So for example, we have universal set 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. A is 1, 3, 5 and B is 1, 2, 3. And I want to compute the complement of the union of those two sets and then the union of their complements. Okay, so first of all, the union of the two sets, A union B. Remember, for the union, I need to make a list of the elements that are in the one set or the other or both. So that's going to be one, two, three, five. And then the complement of that set, complement of A union B, is the set of elements that are in the universal set but are not in my set here, A union B. Well, U contains 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and all of those are in A union B except 4, so the complement then just consists of that single element. And now if we want the complement of A, complement of A is going to be those elements in U that are not in A, so that would be 2, 4, and the complement of B would be 4, 5. If I form the union of these two complements, then I'm going to get 2, 4, 5, right? Okay, so let's look at these two results here. The complement of the union of A and B gives us just the element 4, but if I take the complements first and then take the union of those two, I get something different, don't I? So the lesson we draw from this is the order of the operations that we perform is important. Okay, now if we have a problem that calls for a number of set operations to be performed, as long as we take it one step at a time, then we can uh, get to the end of the problem. Okay, so for example, we have a universal set consisting of the elements 1 through 10. We have a set E which consists of those numbers that are even. B is the set 1, 3, 4, 5, 8. And A is the set 1, 2, 4, 7, 8. And we need to find the intersection of the complement of A union B with the union of 
the complement of E and A. So this looks very complicated, but if we just take it one step at a time, then we can get to the final answer. So first of all, let's do the union of A and B. A union B, remember that will be a list of all the elements that are in either the one or the other, or in both. So that'd be one, two, three, four, five. Let's see, six is not in there. And we have seven and eight. Okay, now we need the complement of this. Okay, so I have to look in the universal set to see which elements are not in this set here. So I have, let's see, six, six is in there, and then nine and ten. Okay, now I need the complement of E. Well, if E consists of even numbers, then the complement of E will be what? Odd numbers, right? So it would be 1, 3, 5, 7, and 9. Okay, now I need the union of this with A. A union complement E. So one, two, three, four, five, six is not in there, seven, eight, and nine. Okay, and then finally I need the intersection of these two results here. So A union B complement intersected with complement of E union A. Now I have to see where do these two have an element in common? Well, see not six, but nine is common. And then that's it, isn't it? So that's the answer to our problem.